How many of you meditate at least once a year? Okay, once a month? Okay, you can keep, that's good, that's good. We'll just leave it right there, you know. We're, we're grateful for anything we can get. No, that's good. Okay, so this is about you in a lot of ways. People who do some kind of meditative practice, sort of routinely, pretty much much of the time, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes a day, 45 on a good day. In other words, people like me, real world, okay, they actually have measurably thicker brains in certain key regions. So the number one region up here is called the insula. It's a part of the brain, and again, there are two of them, that is involved in what's called interoception, tuning into the internal state of your body, and as well as your deep feelings. No wonder. They're tuning into themselves. Probably a lot of what they're doing is practicing mindfulness of breathing. They're getting in touch. They're staying really present with what's going on. No wonder. They're using, and therefore they're building, much like a muscle, by analogy, literally. They're using it, so they build it, the insula. Second, the uh, second region is the frontal regions of the prefrontal cortex, the frontal areas, uh, that are involved, again, in controlling attention. No surprise here as well. They're using attention, so they're getting more control over it, and they're, you know, they're strengthening its neural basis. The third region up at the top is somatosensory cortex. It's a part that basically they're tuning into their body. It, it's less relevant for our purposes. The point is that... Uh, people who routinely practice something, in this particular case, uh, mindful med mindfulness meditation, uh, build up the neural substrates that are its basis. Normally, we lose about 10,000 brain cells a day. That may sound horrible, but we were, we were born with 1.1 trillion. And we also have several thousand a day born inside, mainly, uh, the hippocampus, actually and uh, in, in what's called neurogenesis. So losing 10,000 a day isn't that big a deal, but the net bottom line is that a typical 80-year-old will have lost about 4% of brain mass. It's called cortical thinning with aging. It's a normal process. So in this study, there was a comparison between the meditators and the non-meditators. The meditators are the blue circles. The non-meditators are the red squares, age you know, matched, and so forth. Uh, this was not a longitudinal study. It was a cohort study. Uh, with some good statistical controls. The people who are the red squares, the controls, experience normal cortical thinning in these three regions of interest. Whereas the people who routinely meditated and worked that muscle, quote unquote, did not experience cortical thinning in that region. They're the blue circles with the line straight across. That has a lot of implications for an aging population. I had a birthday yesterday, and so, you know, it's on my mind, and uh, there's always a little more gray hair every year in the mirror. So anyway, use it or lose it, right? It applies to the brain as well as to other aspects of life. That takes us to a really important point, you know, that for me is a major takeaway in this territory, that our experience really matters. Um, it doesn't just matter moment to moment in terms of, okay, subjective well-being, as Bob was saying earlier, you know, how it feels to be me, but it also really matters uh, in the lasting residues that we, it leaves behind, woven into our very being. 